Earth's deep systems stir a planet under pressure, enters 2026. Yellowstone National Park, USA. Early 2026. Winter should silence the land. Instead, Yellowstone is breathing. Beneath snow-covered forests and frozen rivers, the world's most closely watched volcanic system has entered another restless phase. Over recent weeks, hundreds of earthquakes, small but persistent, have rippled through the crust beneath the park. Individually, they are minor. Together, they form a pattern scientists recognize instantly. Movement. Then came the surface response. The Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, erupted again its colossal jet of superheated water and steam blasting skyward with thunderous force. Each eruption is brief, violent, and impossible to ignore launching boiling water higher than a 10-story building before collapsing back into the frozen basin below. Once quiet for decades, Steamboat has now become a symbol of Yellowstone's renewed geothermal instability. But Steamboat was not alone. Across the park, hydrothermal systems began to react. Steam vents roared louder. Hot springs surged and drained unpredictably. In several areas, hydrothermal eruptions, sudden explosions caused by rapidly expanding underground steam, fractured the ground, ejecting mud, rock, and scalding water without warning. These are not magmatic eruptions, but they are violent reminders that Yellowstone's heat is dangerously close to the surface. Scientists stress there is no sign of an imminent super-eruption. Yet, the message is unmistakable. Yellowstone's plumbing system is shifting, rerouting heat, fluids, and pressure through ancient fractures carved by previous cataclysms. The ground is not rising in panic, but it is not resting either. The earthquakes below signals from the depths. Seismometers scattered across the park tell a deeper story. Swarms of earthquakes, many too small for humans to feel, trace invisible lines beneath the landscape. These quakes are not random. They mark fluid movement, magma-heated water migrating through cracks, lubricating faults, and reactivating old scars in the crust. Each tremor is a pulse. Each pulse feeds the surface chaos. Yellowstone, once again, is reminding scientists why it is not merely a park, but a living geological engine, driven by heat rising from a mantle plume far below North America. And as Yellowstone murmurs, the planet answers elsewhere. Hawaii Kilauea approaches its 40th eruptive episode. Kilauea Volcano, Hawaii, early 2026. Thousands of kilometers away, on the flanks of Mauna Loa's ancient neighbor, Kilauea remains locked in a prolonged cycle of fire. Since late 2024, the volcano has not erupted continuously, but episodically. Each episode follows a chillingly familiar rhythm. Ground inflation, rising tremor, then sudden release. By early 2026, scientists confirm Kilauea is poised for its 40th eruptive episode. Inside Halamauma'u crater, magma rises and stalls, pressurizing the system like a piston. When pressure overwhelms resistance, lava fountains explode skyward, sometimes hundreds of meters high before retreating once more. 
Each episode reshapes the crater floor, layering fresh basalt atop still cooling flows from previous outbursts. The volcano is currently quiet, but instruments tell a different story. Tilt meters show inflation. Gas emissions persist. Seismic tremor whispers beneath the summit. This is not a volcano going to sleep. It is a volcano reloading. Residents and scientists alike understand the danger is not sudden devastation, but persistence. Kilauea's long-duration unrest reshapes landscapes, releases massive volumes of volcanic gas, and serves as a reminder that Earth's most active volcanoes do not erupt once they breathe in cycles. Europe's fire in winter, Mount Etna awakes again. Mount Etna, Sicily, winter 2025. 2026. As Yellowstone steams and Hawaii glows, Mount Etna completes the global triad. In the depths of winter, Europe's most active volcano erupted again, its summit cloaked in snow as ash plumes surged into icy skies. From newly energized craters, Etna expelled columns of dark volcanic ash scattering fine particles across eastern Sicily and forcing aviation alerts despite the season's cold. The contrast was surreal. White slopes, black ash, orange glow beneath falling snow. Etna's winter eruptions are particularly hazardous. Snow and ice can melt rapidly when lava intrudes, increasing the risk of sudden floods and unstable ground. While the eruption remained largely confined to the summit, its symbolism was powerful. Etna does not rest for seasons. Seismic data revealed magma movement beneath the volcano's flanks, feeding vents that have opened and sealed repeatedly over recent years. Each eruption may appear modest, but together they mark a sustained period of elevated activity, echoing Etna's long history of unpredictable behavior. A global pattern not connected, but not silent. Scientists are careful with their words. Yellowstone, Kilauea, and Etna are not directly linked. They sit on different tectonic systems, fed by different magma sources. No single event causes the others, and yet they are speaking at the same time.